government is always, you know, I, I'm not part of government decision making, I guess is what, I, what I'd say there. Um, but um, I don't disagree with the premise that we should re-examine our policy settings um, from time to time. And um, the argument I made there, I'll just expand it out a bit here, um, in that op-ed was that it was really in response to the fact that the Americans have decided to, to move their embassy, and as you know, they've, they've done that. Um, and I think, I mean, this conflict is basically a frozen conflict. It has been since 1948. We're no, if you believe in a two-state solution, we are no closer to realising that in, than we are, in, uh, than we were in 1948. In fact, we're further away from it. So if you believe that, if you believe in a two-state solution, then um, you need to be honest enough with yourself to re-examine what you've been doing for the last, um, sorry, 70 years and say, well, what, why has this not worked? We keep saying we want one, but hasn't happened. What are some of the reasons for that? And I really do believe that um, there's a couple, we've sort of become imprisoned by some of the history, if you like, of 1948, which is preventing us from moving ahead now. And there are, you know, myths or beliefs or, or positions held on both sides, which might have been reasonable to hold in 1948, but which are now um, an obstacle to resolving this conflict. So um, let me mention a couple of them. First is the right of return. I mean, you know, at the time Israel was formed, there were about seven to 800,000 Palestinians displaced from uh, the state of Israel. Um, incidentally, I mean, around that time and in the subsequent 20 years, there were about seven or 800,000 Israel, or Jewish people, sorry, displaced from throughout the Middle East um, who found their way to Israel. Now, one of those refugee populations we've dealt with, which is the Jewish people that were displaced from places like Baghdad and Alexander and Morocco, and, what, and they've resettled them. The other population, um, we basically housed in refugee camps for the last 70 years and created multiple generations of people who um, haven't been resettled. Unlike any other conflict in the world where um, we acknowledge the hardships faced but we try and rebuild people's lives. So that's one right of return as well. Um, borders is another. I mean, um, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a view amongst the Palestinian and the Arab world, and it's not, I'm not saying it's the dominant view, but there's a view that um, Israel is illegitimate on any boundaries. Uh, it doesn't matter that, um, if Israel's on the 48th boundary or the 67th boundaries or anything else, um, and that they just need to sit it out and not negotiate with it, and Israel will disappear. Um, and there's a view on the Israeli side, bluntly, too, that if they just stick around long enough, they'll be able to annex the West Bank. They'll do it in slices or they'll do it in pieces. We still have Israeli cabinet ministers talk about this. All of those myths need to be, um, need to be dispelled um, if we're to have any hope of achieving peace. So I, the, the argument I made, and I still think it's legitimate, is that under any um, conceivable two-state solution, West Jerusalem will be, um, remain part of Israel and the Israel's capital has been part of Israel since Israel was created in 1948. Um, and we should acknowledge that as a, as a reality and be prepared to make sure that everyone else does. Um, equally though, um, as I said before, the Palestinians are going anywhere. Um, and um, the Israeli side needs to acknowledge the reality that they're not going anywhere and that their future will have to be some sort of um, statehood or self-determination. Uh, and I think that's, um, you know, this is what I was urging in, in my office, was that we have an open and honest discussion about these issues, that just because something um, hasn't been done for the last 70 years doesn't mean it will always be wrong to do it, particularly when nothing has been achieved as a result of that.